In this video, I'm going to take a look at embedding a 3D viewer into a web page for your 3D portfolio so that you can show potential employers and design colleges some of your 3D modeling work. It's very impressive looking and a very 21st century thing to do. So I'm going to first of all show you Wix, what I believe is the very best online web editing thing out there. There's my site, and right here is the page where I want to put my 3D viewer in. Now, I'm going to use uh, Sketchfab for this. It's a, a good application where you can share 3D models and things. There's lots of other ones that other companies have, and eventually all types of uh, companies will have this, and it will be integrated into all different types of web browsers. So this is my quick Eiffel Tower scene in 3ds Max. And I'm going to export this. Now to export to, I'm going to drop it in the folder here. Now to export to Fab, Sketchfab and to be able to show it on the web, you have to have it in a correct format. Stereolithograph is a common format. But I'm going to choose OBJ because it allows them to give me colors and I can maybe use that a little bit later on and I'm not going to upload any colors to Sketchfab and I will actually or any material colors to Sketchfab and I'll show you why in just a little while when we get into the uploading to Sketchfab but right now I'm just going to take the defaults for exporting this from 3ds Max and it's a uh, real easy to do it uploads your material, it ex exports your materials and everything like that, and there it goes, and it's done very quickly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the folder. You'll see I have that folder, and I have my Hogwarts model that I created later on as well, and I'm going to use that for an example. So I'm going to open this up in Microsoft 3D Builder just to show you that it has exported. And notice 3D Builder has got the colors and the trees and everything exported from 3ds Max. So now I'm going to close out of that and it's time to go over to Sketchfab. So I'm going to go back down to my browser and now I'm in Sketchfab and I'm going to upload that model. Now first of all I'm going to choose the Hogwarts model to show you what uh, happens if you don't have a higher level account. And this is why I didn't put my textures and all in there. You can see it's too large. It's about uh, 11 megabytes too big for me to upload that model into Sketchfab with the free plan. My Eiffel Tower though will fit just right. So I'm going to select that and then upload it. And I'm just going to take the defaults. And that will upload. And I type a description in here and on. This is for other people that use Sketchfab to find your models and be able to use your models. And you can actually choose whether you can sell your models or let people use it for free in here. Thingverse is another one, very popular type of 3D model sharing platform. And I'm going to pick out a tag there, just architecture. And then I'm going to import it into Sketchfab. Okay, and here it comes real quick. And there it is. And I can rotate it around. Once again, I didn't upload the colors because it would, uh, it would take a long time for the demonstration, for one thing. And also, it would probably be too big with my free Sketchfab account to upload it. Now comes uh, really the easy part building the model and all and getting the formats and colors and textures right is the hard part. I'm going to publish this, which means it's available to the Sketchfab communities as I defined it. And I'm going to get some code so that I can embed this into my Wix website. And once again, here's the editor and that's the place where I'm going to put it. I'm going to come over here and choose you can either click embed or choose share and get to embed that way and it brings up this nice window and there's the code 
You simply click on it and it copies it to the clipboard. And then it's time to go back over into my Wix editor. And the great thing about the drag and drop, what you see is what you get with Wix, is it really makes it easy. So I go into Add More, and I'm just going to drag this HTML code box over. So I drag that over like that. Then I'm going to click on to add the code. And I simply paste it in here. Very easy. And after I've pasted it in, this is what I like about the uh, what you see is what you get graphical editor here. And all this Wix does it all online and I can move that around so that I get it the right size so that whoever goes to my web page here can actually rotate my model around and get a good feel for what it actually looks like. Okay, so I'm going back to publish this and I'm going to go back to my web page, the actual page, and then I'm going to refresh it. Takes me back to my first page of my website and in Wix I'm going to go to the next slide and there it is. I click on the 3D play button it brings up the viewer and then I can show my model off. And this is a great way, like I said, to uh, get potential employers. And if you go to design college or an arts college, it's a good way to have a good electronic portfolio that you can show the people for admission. Now, if you want to have more, you can actually pay for more space so you can have colors and all kinds of fancy stuff, which might be worth it if uh, you have a customer that uh, will be paying you for these models but a free count does pretty well you can just kind of move things around and get a good feel for it and it works with not just the Wix editor but uh, any type of web editor will let you embed code like this I like Wix though because you can actually go in and adjust the size and all so I hope you enjoyed this video and look out for more